which I literally, I thought this was a joke. Like, are you kidding me? This is so tiny. She's long, you know? And if I pull it down even more, she gets longer. Huh? Good morning, guys. Welcome to a new video. It is Saturday morning, and your girl is feeling so much better. I think the last two videos I put up, I was talking about how I was starting to get sick. I was feeling kind of sick, but if you guys are on my Instagram, you know I've been downing those ginger shots and it works. It works. I'm here to let you guys know that. But in today's video, I kind of wanted to do a little bit vlog style, but I got a few things in PR and I'm also kind of hoping to get the house a little bit decluttered. I mean, we moved into this house. If you guys watch the moving vlogs, we moved into this house last October and it still feels like the house is empty like still feels like the house is not fully decorated but somehow we have a lot of like knickknacks and clutter that we brought from our other place so it's gonna be a fun weekend that's my goal for this weekend is just get decluttered get cleaned up uh really good displayed spick and spam it is saturday it's 9 a.m i'm gonna take mocha on a walk real quick after downing my coffee but today I'm gonna do I'm gonna be filming a few videos on, for my Instagram and on YouTube here, obviously outside of this video. So I'm gonna show you guys just how messy the house gets, but then we're gonna clean it all up. So it's fine. Wait, you actually think it's too bad? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I went super basic with my makeup because we're supposed to be going to the beach later and crazy enough what I've been using for mascara instead of using waterproof mascara which I have found is not always that waterproof um, is using my false mascara like the sticky part and then putting the white thing that makes your eyelashes less sticky because that is actually waterproof like it will look like you have mascara on and it won't run on you in the water which I love and just did a very like bronzed makeup because I do want because I don't want to do too much Especially if we're going to the beach and we're gonna be in the water, my skin's already so irritated. While I was in my closet, I have been saving opening these for a little bit because I wanted to do like a proper PR unboxing, but I already unpackaged it, like the outer package that I got here with. But I got a few swimsuits from Glad. You guys know I love Glad. Actually, actually, not even sponsored, but like I'm literally wearing their tank top and the sweatpants. One of the most flattering, I love this, like my favorite pair of sweatpants ever, but they just came out with some swimsuit this past summer. And if you guys are Ethiopian, she is Habisha and this is a Habisha owned brand. So I love supporting them, but like even if they weren't a Habisha owned brand, quite honestly, pretty dang amazing. Like the quality is so good. They got some new swimsuits and quality is there. The colors, like I posted on my Instagram, you guys were all like, holy cow, those colors are beautiful. But you guys can see they're so bright and bold. My favorite one, although I love the bright and bold, my favorite one is this black one right here. Are you joking? Look at that. It comes up really high, which you guys know I love. Next one that they sent over is this one right here. Oh, and I saw this on their Instagram. It's so beautiful. It has a really cool like keyhole detail. It's like a one side um, swimsuit and you can actually adjust this part right here, which is perfect for girls who have bigger chest or a smaller chest. You can adjust it to your waist size. The only thing about this one is it's basically a thong bikini or a thong swimsuit. So honestly, I would actually wear this as a, like a top, <laughs> like a bodysuit. Um, I think I'd be more comfortable with wearing this as a bodysuit as opposed to like to the beach because I don't mind a cheeky bikini. I'm just not a thong bikini kind of girl. Um, and then the last one that I got is this gorgeous citrine. I think that's what they named the this color citrine orange color also super high slit has the actual cup for it and it's super adjustable like the, the strap part everybody loves a good adjustable strap and it doesn't look like it's uh, this one looks like it's a bit cheeky but it's not like a like a thong so if you don't mind a cheeky bikini or a cheeky swimsuit this one is really cute and it's a one piece I mean one pieces are coming like they're really coming for it so I think I might actually wear this to the beach today because I kind of love this one. And this one's a little bit more coverage. Like you can tell this one has more covers than the other two bikinis. Um, and this one's my favorite. I don't know. It's going to make me feel like I'm a surfer girl. And I love scuba suit anything. So 
Thank you Glad for sending these over again not sponsored but I will have their website linked down below and they have um, some really cool drops almost every week so but let me show you guys how I style like the 10 ways to style something a lot of times so I have the base of whatever I'm planning on styling right down here I wanted to do one or the other the black or the beige trousers but I think I'm gonna do both honestly just adds versatility and then I put every single outfit in top that I would want to pair with it just to try it out so I think we have one two three four for this one and then for this one I have one which I probably wear with this two three four five so we have nine outfits right now um, and then I have all my accessories over here so I feel like this is honestly how I would style myself um, or how I would style a client if I had a client like I would just put everything out there try everything on see how it looks pair it with different shoes and you're basically playing dress up so it's pretty fun and this is the aftermath which is not great um, but we're getting ready to go to the beach which I should clean this up right now, but I'm gonna get to it later on. Um, I'm taking my slides with me and this is what I'm wearing. I've, I feel like you guys are probably sick of me wearing the same exact thing to the beach over and over again, but honestly, a big t-shirt, my favorite um, Lulu's bikini, which I have in my Lulu's haul, and that's it. I'm throwing on my sneakers until we get to the beach in case we wanna go on the boardwalk, so I wanna bring them with me. But besides that, this is the fit. I have, I think I've already told you guys this. Oh my God, I just put so much sunscreen on my face and I look so pale. But um, I have been downing the immunity packs from Liquid IV since I'm feeling better. I think I'm gonna try the passion fruit again because I remember that being really, really good. If you guys have never tried the Liquid IV packs, I have a discount code, so feel free to get some free shipping on that if you wanna give it a try. Outside? Let's go outside. tripod I have got to do something with my hair so I've been actually holding out on um, dyeing my hair oh my god I think looking at it from this angle is actually making me want to do it more but there's um, a hair colorist here in this area it's actually rated really highly so I've been trying to get an appointment with her because I want to do color correction and also get my roots um, tone my hair get a lot of the orange out of it and I could do it myself, like I've done it by myself before, but now that I'm getting closer to the wedding date, I just don't want to continue to risk me doing my own hair. I would just much rather, um, at least now that we're about a year out, get somebody uh, to do it, and then if I don't like it, I'll have enough time within like a good six months to either go back to black or continue my like getting lighter or whatever the case is. But as of now, this right here, it ain't it. It ain't it. Can I just show you guys the most beautiful picture I have of my parents? Ignore my nails because I just literally bit them off yesterday. But look at my mom and dad. I found these old passport pictures of them and they look so stinking cute. Look at my dad with them aviators. Oh, I just love these pictures and they're all beat up and stuff. But it's so beautiful. I'm about to head out right now to go to church and pick up my friend's gift. And then when I get back, my plan is to start going through these cabinets. I was looking for something today and literally almost every single cabinet is just so cluttered up. <laughs> it's unreal. Eventually, I will start. I know I've, we've come this far in this vlog and I have yet to put anything 
away, but it will get done. I just picked up our mail and it looks like my, I got a few things from Skins. Um, this is a PR, like I bought it myself. And I'm gonna do, I might do like a proper Skims haul, which I did get actually, I got this tank top and um, like an, a pair of underwear from Skims as PR, because I think this was one of their new color drops. But I wanted to get some of the more classic Skims items. Um, so I got some of those. Oh yeah, and I also picked up some shapewear. Honestly, just more so for like undergarment and not so much for, what the heck, what did I get? What is this? All right guys, I literally was editing this video and I already had clips of me wearing these items from Skims. So instead of making you guys wait for a whole other video, I'm just gonna show you guys what I got from Skims. So this is gonna be the haul portion of this video. If you guys are new here, you guys might not know. I do a lot of fashion and lifestyle videos and sometimes I like to combine the two where I'll put a little bit of fashion in my videos because fashion is a big part of my lifestyle, obviously. But like you saw, I got a bunch of stuff from Skims. One of the items being their ribbed tank top. I literally was just wearing it. It's so cute. I got this from, um, I got this in a size small. This is just their cropped tank few things about this one. So first of all, this stretch is literally magnificent. I think the thing most people love about Skims is that the stretch that their clothes have plus the durability is like the perfect level. So whatever you get from them, like your staples, like this, I got this in a bone color. So it's kind of like an off-white beige color. So this is gonna look so good with any kind of browns that you put on top of it for the fall time. But even if you have this with like a white and then another cream pair and just kind of have it play off of those lighter colors for the summertime, it looks so good. So before we even get to the other stuff, I just do have to say one of my favorite places to shop for basics quality basics is definitely definitely skims so like i said i got this in a size small and i got it in the color bone you'll see in the try on portion that i'm wearing it with uh the black bralette which i got from the last skim saw that i did a few what almost a year ago now um and it's one of my favorite bralettes but you guys can see i'm wearing clearly a really dark bralette and you can see through it if you wear a bikini underneath it with a loud print i think it would look really cute because those patterns will pop but that's just my preference. You guys already saw me wearing this one right here, which I got in PR. It's just their new drop from Skims. It's their like bubblegum baby pink color. It's just a staple tank top, but the fit again, this one is I think from their cotton collection. And you guys can see right here, it has Skims written on it in like such a faint very tiny and dainty logo. And it's not like pop push it in your face like I'm um, advertising like Calvin Klein or anything like that. It's really, really cute. I did a little like styling it for the nighttime versus styling it for the daytime. Over on my TikTok if you guys want to see that, but that's another one I got uh, from Skips. And this one I got in a size small. The next item that I got uh, from Skims is actually a repurchase. So the first time I did the Skims haul, I got this triangle bralette, which is like their famous Skims bralette. I got it in the bone and I got it to match with the Skims ribbed biker shorts or the boy shorts. They're boy shorts, not biker shorts, I'm pretty sure. Um, and those are so cute. I cannot wear the boy shorts outside because they're see-through, but the bralette I wear all the time. If you guys watch any of my styling videos, if I'm looking for a bralette look, that's going to be the first one that I get because it is so supportive. It's so cute. It matches with everything. And I've worn that bone color so much that it's actually like i've washed it way too many times and i could see like there's a color fading and not because of the material but because honestly i washed it too much oh what did i go and do i went and bought the black one i just don't believe that you can ever have too many basics i love a trendy moment right you guys know me i'm a trendy kind of gal if you want to be trendy you have to be so secure in your basics and if you're not insecure in your basics chances are you probably have so many patterns so many like colors in your in your closet that you don't even know how to wear more than once because you don't have enough basics to pair with it. Trust me, I know this. It was a mistake that I made. I think this past, what, year and a half, all I've been doing is really focusing on getting some core basics, getting anything and everything that I wear very often in those like staple black, white, or nude colors, and then just wearing it with any other color I wanted to bring into the spring and 
fall time or whatever. I thought I loved the bone, but I love this even more. I got this in a size small as well. The next item that I got from Skims is actually a pair of... <laughs> Anytime I look at them, they look so funny to me because like, look how tiny these are. It is so stinking tiny you guys know if you're shopping from skims they are known they are the whole reason why skims blew up so much is because of their shapewear like that is their bread and butter so i thought to myself i can't shop on skims or even think about doing a skims haul without trying at least one pair of their shapewear i don't usually wear shapewear i know that i don't need to wear shapewear but i want to try it out to see what the deal is you know and so i got a small which i literally i thought this was a joke like are you kidding me this is so tiny look these are supposed to be shorts they look like shorts that you would have a three-year-old child wear but when you put it on it just i mean it does what shapewear is meant to do and in the little in the booty section, it actually has thinner fabric and then tighter fabric right around your thighs and your waist. So it literally gives you an hourglass figure. On top of that, in the crotch area, there's actually an opening so that when you pee or when you have to go to the bathroom, you don't have to like take off your entire, you guys know how it is, fighting with shapewear. So you don't have to technically take it off to use the bathroom. Again, super innovative. And the last thing I have to say about this is that it has the sticky band right around the waist so it doesn't roll down. I love that. I wish every single fabric of clothing had this right here. I think clothing would be so much more enjoyable to wear especially trendier cuter items that you have to like fidget with and like constantly have to do one of these if you had this i think all our problems would be solved okay the last and final item what you guys have been waiting for i bought the dress that tiktok has been persuading all of us to buy it is the viral skims long bodycon dress and she is Giving. Okay, I really want to be more critical. I don't know why I just feel like if you have good things to say There's nothing is ever really perfect Except this dress. Um, I don't understand like it is literally amazing. It is in a ripped material I hope they come out with a winter collection of this dress where it's the long sleeve version It is just so stinking flattering it is super long, very lightweight. I wore it to dinner. You guys will see in the next few clips of me trying it on and getting ready for dinner. I wore it for dinner and I loved every moment of it. Literally, my friends were hyping me up so much because they kept saying, girl, your body. And I kept telling them, honey, it's not my body, it's the dress. Because honestly, I've never seen my body look that good in a dress ever in my life. So I don't know what to tell you. This dress is absolutely amazing. And I got it in a size. Yeah, I got it in a size small, which I'm actually glad that I got it in a size small because it was tight fitting, um, but it was also long enough. That was the only thing that I was concerned about with a dress like this is a lot of times maxi dresses don't maxi all the way for me. So I was afraid that this one might be a little bit too short, but it fit perfectly. All right, let's get back to the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul portion. Let me know if you did. Let me know which Skims items are your favorites or which ones you guys are planning on trying. Girl, let me tell you how this video is actually going to be called a very unproductive day in my life because all that, all that, all that talking I was doing, nothing got done besides a nice nap, another chapter read, and I'm dressed. It took me three hours to do my makeup because I felt like I had the time and I get nothing else done. So um, let me just show you guys my outfit. So but I ordered the Skims like simple spaghetti dress how freaking figure flattering is this and i'm not even afraid to wear this to dinner because purse because it is my friend's birthday dinner it's not my birthday i don't need to be wearing heels i can look cute without doing too much okay it's a motto anyways i guess this is your sign to buy this skim dress because <laughs> i'm so shocked at how like and the fact that she's long you know and if i pull it down even more she gets longer Anyways, I'm about to head out. There's gonna be a little bit of a wait because we didn't make a reservation We're doing just walk-in for the restaurant today. I hope you guys enjoyed a very unproductive kind of hectic 
crazy weekend in my life. Stay tuned for my next video because I have a therapy session booked for tomorrow and I'm gonna talk a little bit about it. If you guys watched my last video, I was telling you guys about how I wanna open up a little bit more about some things, personal things that I've been going through, not for pity or shame or anything like that, but more so to process it and to also not hold back in sharing those moments because my life is not always perfect. It's not everything is roses and wedding planning, you know? So I'm gonna do a little chit chat video on that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me this past weekend. If you guys like these videos, I'll continue to do them. Make sure to subscribe. I know I don't say this enough, but I would love it so much if you guys subscribe to my channel. It really would mean so much to me. I've been wanting to hit that 20K mark. I don't know for what reason. I don't know what validation it's gonna give me but I feel like I've been aiming for that number for a little while now, so it would be appreciated if you did that. All right, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys.